and welcome back to Box Office Maniacs. Tonight I have a review for Wonder Woman. Before I start the review though, you might be asking yourself, where's your Box Office Maniac shirt? Well, I have a weird story about this shirt. This is actually a shirt I got from Loot Crate. And I really like this shirt quite a lot. It's one of my favorite shirts. And I was at Best Buy just a few hours ago. And some guy actually stopping an employee is like, dude, I love your shirt. Can I take a picture of it? And I'm like, um, okay. So he, he took a picture of my shirt. And I think I might have the unboxing of this on here. I don't know which Loot Crate it is. But yeah, we get really cool shirts off of Loot Crate. So if you want to go back and watch some of the Loot Crates and check out some of these cool shirts that you know we get, knock yourself out. However, this is a review a long time coming. I'm talking like a long time coming. Back in the day, way before the internet, yeah, I know it's it's hard to imagine there was a day before the internet. Most of our information came either from television or from comic books that had to deal with superheroes. Now, again, back in the day, I used to always think Batman as Adam West because there was nothing really out there, you know, unless you read the comics that indicated there was a different type of Batman besides Adam West. So one day a friend of mine was reading The Dark Knight Returns and he was telling me about it and I'm like yeah I don't care about Batman you know I said yeah whatever he's like no this isn't you know the Batman you see on television this is the real Batman and I'm like what are you talking about? So he gave me The Dark Knight Returns and that moment was sort of a life-changing second for me because I'm like Holy cow, this is Batman? This this is really Batman? So you might be asking yourself, why are you talking about Batman during a Wonder Woman review? Because it's the same with Wonder Woman was growing up we had Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. And she was basically our Wonder Woman. Unless you read the comics, I mean, pretty much that's how you knew Wonder Woman was Linda Carter. And if you ever watch me TV on Saturday nights, like I do, they're showing Wonder Woman again. They've been showing it for quite a while. And it's a terrible show. I mean, you might have really fond memories of watching it, but truthfully, it's a terrible show. <laughs> it's pretty much up there with the Batman TV series. Actually, the Batman TV series is better, way better, than the Wonder Woman TV series. It's just so campy, so goofy, so badly acted. Just It was just a terrible show. And it became a big hit, obviously, because of Linda Carter, and not, I guess, so much for the content of the show. So then, like Batman, later on, instead of watching the Linda Carter version of Wonder Woman, or even the Justice League of America cartoon that was on, I finally discovered the Wonder Woman in the comics and realized she's nothing like what they were portraying here on television. So ever since then, I've been like, well, where's, where's the Wonder Woman movie? Why don't we have a Wonder Woman movie? So, you know, a hundred years later, somebody finally said, hey, let's make a Wonder Woman movie. Exactly. That was Vince, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting so long for this Wonder Woman movie, and then when I heard that they actually got the actress to play Wonder Woman, and I don't know how to pronounce her name. It's either Gal or Gail, or I don't know how to pronounce her name. So, you know, it's one or the other. And I know her from the Fast and Furious movies. I don't know if she's been in anything else besides that. And as soon as I heard that, I'm like, oh, really? Come on. It's 2017, people. You know, give us an Amazon. Give us somebody who looks like an Amazon. And again, if you read the Wonder Woman comics, or if you know anything about Wonder Woman, she's not, you know, a 75-pound toothpick that looks like a pipe cleaner. She's buff. She's an Amazon. She can lift up thousands of pounds of weight. And it's 2017, people. Come on. I mean, yeah, people are like, oh, we can't show, you know, any sort of buff women on, on the screen because they're gross and ugly. No, they're not. Come on. Still, anyway, I was excited about the Wonder Woman film just because I wanted one for such a long time. And, you know, we have Superman, we have Batman, we even have the Green Lantern, for God's sake, and even Ghost Rider, but no Wonder Woman. So now, finally, Wonder Woman has hit the theaters, I went to go see it, and I gotta tell you, oh my god, it's amazing. Absolutely spectacular from beginning to end. And all the worries I had about 
Gal, Gale, whatever her name is, <laughs> playing Wonder Woman. I guess I should figure out what her real name is. Playing Wonder Woman just went, went out the way. Gone. So, yeah, I mean, it. she was freaking amazing as Wonder Woman. Absolutely incredible. She is Wonder Woman. She, we finally got our Wonder Woman. After all these years, we got a Wonder Woman finally. And as you can tell, I could not have been more excited about this. She hit the gym, and she's not, you know, the 97 pound, 80 pound toothpick that she was in, in Fast and Furious. She did buff up for the movie, and she looks like Wonder Woman. She, she, she became that character. And that is so incredible that I, I can sit here and talk about, we got a Wonder Woman movie. Now, I would compare this to Richard Donner's original Superman and Tim Burton's Batman. Now, these are the two people who took this character seriously. And they're like, okay, we're going to make a superhero film. We're not going to make it stupid or campy like the old Wonder Woman's or the old Adam West. we got to take this seriously. And that's what they did. And that's basically this film, because this is a history-making movie. They nailed it. First of all, it takes place during World War II. Great. I really love that. I'm glad they went that direction and not in the present. Uh, I'm glad they went back to the past, to her beginning, on Paradise Island. And also, as Steve Rogers in this film, is Chris Pine. And for those who are like, oh, I know that name... He is actually Captain Kirk in Star Trek films. And he was so great in this film. He was funny. He it was everything you know, Steve Rogers should have been. He did great in his action sequences. He was so good in this film. In fact, everybody in this movie was great. The story was great. The action was great. And speaking of the action, I gotta talk about the sequence. It's called No Man's Land. I don't wanna give any spoilers away, but they do kinda show it in the trailer, a couple seconds of it. And it's a scene where she sort of climbing up this ladder and she walks out on this battlefield. I mean, that's the point in the movie where I started getting goosebumps. And my wife was saying that she was getting so emotional over that sequence. And to tell you the truth, so did I. Because I waited so long for this Wonder Woman film. And here she is on screen. And she's in the middle of this incredible action sequence. Incredible action sequence. And I'm just sitting there like, this is everything... I've ever wanted from a Wonder Woman movie right in front of me right now. I mean, it was one of those sequences that you're like, wow, you know, it was worth the wait. It was absolutely worth the wait. So the bad guys in this film were the Nazis, obviously. Um, and then there was, there was a main guy who was the main Nazi bad guy. Then there was sort of the side bad scientist who was this woman who had half of her face with like Fan the Opera covered up. And even though the Nazi guy was okay, she was awesome. And that's, you know, really if you have a movie where you have to have a villain, get a villain that's creepy and, you know, is, is a villain. It is somebody you're like, oh man, that person is completely insane. And she was. And, the, and she portrayed that role so good. I don't know who she was, but wow, she was amazing. This movie has already made over $200 million just opening weekend. And if that doesn't tell the studio that, hey, you guys have been idiots for the, like the last, you know, however many years it's been since Lennon Carter's been on the air, that you guys decide that a, a female superhero couldn't carry a movie by herself, I mean, obviously now she can. So we're going to probably get bombarded with female superhero movies. And if they are good as this one, I don't care. I know they're making Mrs. Marvel. I don't know anything about her at all. And, and they're probably going to be doing a Black Widow one now, and who knows what else is going to come out. But if they're as good as this one, then bring them on. I mean, absolutely bring them on. And the person who directed this film, her name is Patty Jenkins, and I got to give a big shout-out to her because she made history with this film, and she's the first female director who ever made a $100 million film over the weekend or in two days or whatever it was she broke all box office records and you know congratulations to her she she's awesome and she directed this movie so well and it looks phenomenal so in all this is one of the best movies i've seen all year it's up there with logan and so far it's been a great year for movies i mean almost every movie i've gone and seen i've been blown away by however this one is something special 
And I'm so grateful that Patty Jenkins took this character and Gal, Gail, Gail, Gal, took Wonder Woman and made her a serious character. When Christopher Reeve put that suit on, he had the total respect for Superman. I mean, he, he, I've seen interviews with him talking about, you put that suit on, you better have respect for that character you're playing, because it's a legendary character. So is Wonder Woman. And to put that costume on and to get out there and become really our first Wonder Woman, even though she's our second, besides Linda Carter, She's now Wonder Woman. We, like I said, we have a Wonder Woman finally. And she gave this role 110,000%. <laughs> she was that good. I cannot say more amazing things about her, about this movie, about everything. Everything about this film is the reason why I love movies. It's the reason why I go to the movies. And this is the reason why this movie gets to... <laughs> Now you're going to have to probably wait another two or three years to see another Wonder Woman sequel, even though she's going to be in Justice League. I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait to see her on the big screen again. I can't wait to see another Wonder Woman film. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs>